This is ABC's World News Now. Hello to our fans online. I'm Michelle Franzen. And I'm Devin Dwyer with the top stories on this Thursday, August 21st. We begin with the international outrage at the gruesome execution of American journalist James Foley. A worldwide manhunt is now underway to bring those responsible for Foley's death to justice, particularly the ISIS militant who appears in the video of his execution, speaking with a British accent. After the video was verified yesterday, Foley's parents showed their grace and strength in saying they've never been more proud of their son. We're learning new details this morning about the final resting place of actor Robin Williams. TMZ is reporting that the official death certificate for the Hollywood legend says he was cremated the day after he died and his ashes were scattered in San Francisco Bay. Williams committed suicide 10 days ago. The coroner is still awaiting toxicology results. At the Little League World Series, a packed house to see pitching phenom Monet Davis. 34,000 fans were in attendance, which was almost 9,000 more than showed up for the nearby Phillies game. But all those fans couldn't boost Monet's team from Philadelphia over the tough Nevada squad. They were beaten 8-1. to one. But tonight, the showdown, Davis and company face the boys from Chicago's south side at 7.30 p.m. Eastern on ESPN. And finally, shipping into the port of Los Angeles in the world's large, is the world's largest duck, over 60 feet and 11 tons of bright yellow floating bird right there in San Pedro, California. It will be there through the weekend for the Tall Ships Festival. Residents have been coming from afar and wide to get a look at this odd sight, which really just quacks us up. <laughs> Sorry. It's pretty cool. We'll get more news anytime at ABCnews.com. I'm Devin Dwyer. And I'm Michelle Franzen. Thanks for watching. This is ABC's World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. More Americans choose ABC News to see the whole picture.